So let's consider the scenario where we have a group of people working on the joint project. And we'll keep m of xy what it was before. It indicates whether x sent an email to y. So the statement for all x and for all y m of xy tells us that every person sent an email to every other person and every other piece person sent an email to themselves. So what if we don't want to say that? We just want to say that they sent an email to everyone else. They did not include themselves. In this case, we're going to use this conditional operation. If x is not equal to y, then m of xy. So this is how we represent everyone else. So for example, we have this table that gives a group of four people and the truth values of m of xy for each pair. So for example, Agnes sent Fred an email. So m Agnes Fred is true. So our statement for all x and for all y m of xy would be false, since we do see that Fred did not send an email to himself and neither did Marge. If we consider the statement for all x and for all y, if x is not equal to y, then m of xy, this will be true, since everyone did send an email to everyone else. We can also express uniqueness. So existentially quantified statements are true whether there's one element, two elements, or as many as you want that causes it to be true. But let's consider the domain of a set of people who attend a meeting. The predicate L of X indicates whether or not they came late. So their existent X L of X is true there are one, if there's one person who is late, two people, or several people. So this is how we'll represent uniqueness. So their existent X L of X and for all Y, if X is not equal to Y, then the negation of L of Y. So basically what this is saying is there is a person that was late and Everyone else was not late. Now let's consider a set of people at the party. And we would like to find a logical expression that's equivalent to every adult is married to someone at the party. In this case, we have two predicates. M of x, y, where x is married to y, and then a of x, x is an adult. Let's consider the equivalent statement that is closer in a form of logical expression. For every person x, if x is an adult, then there is a person y to whom x is married. So this is saying the same thing as every adult is married to someone at the party, just a little closer to logic. So for every person x, it's going to be for all of x. If x is an adult, so if a of x, then there is a person y for whom x is married. So we have there exists a y such that m of xy. And since y does not appear in the predicate for a of x, we can move this there exists a y to the left so that it appears just after the for all. So you can move these as long as you don't move them past something that contains that letter. We were able to move the there exists a y to the left since there was nothing to the left that already contained a y. So De Morgan's law can be applied to logical statements with more than one quantifier. So every time the negation sign moves past a quantifier, it changes type from universal to existential or from existential to universal. So here are some examples. In the first case, for all x and for all y, p of x, y, it would change both of those universal quantifiers to existential, and then it would negate the predicate. The second case, the negation of for all x, there exists a y such that p of x, y, the universal would change to existential, and the existential would change to universal. So we have there exists an x such that for all y, the negation of p of x, y. And you can see this pattern continues down. All the universal will change to existential, all the existential will change to universal, and then we negate the predicate. So let's consider a scenario in which the domain is set to all students in a school. L of x, y will indicate that x likes i. So we have this statement. There exists an x such that for all y, L of x, y. So in English, there is a student who likes everyone in the school. The negation 
There is not a student who likes everyone in the school. Applying to Morgan's Law, the existential will change to universal, universal will change to existential, and we negate the predicate. So now we have, for all x, there exists a y such that the negation of L of x, y. So every student in the school has someone that they don't like. 